Hey guys, and welcome back to another in-depth look video for another new kit from The Sims 4 called the Book Nook Kits. So these are the items that do come in the kit along with the wallpaper in the back. So we're going to just go through every item and take a look at the color swatches. And also I just want to show you guys that you can actually um, stack these bookshelves however you like and they kind of like all move together along with these taller ones as well and they'll all move together like that so that is actually a really cool addition for this pack and it brings just a lot of different um like build aspects when you're putting together like a whole library for your sims or even just building a library lot in general. I think these are really great additions for it. There weren't any single standing bookshelves except for this coffee table that has some additional books and the end table, but obviously they don't function like regular bookshelves or um, book stands. So let's start over here with this nice little candle and a uh, vase um, flower arrangement. So you have this really nice purple and tan look going on, pink candle, the same flowers. Also, you do have like a see-through glass and like an opaque glass, and then you have some vases that have little speckles on them. And then for this bookshelf, you have a lot of different swatches actually. So hopefully this allows you to mix and match with different type of wood colors. So we do have a lighter wood color, goes into a darker wood color, and then kind of like um, like a really light tan wood. Then you have your standard white and your black shelves as well. And next we have this little, like, it's an alleged stack of books. So this is a wall item, and this comes with several swatches as well. And of course the bookshelves all come with the same light colored, dark colored woods, white and black. And this here is another uh, decor item called the Strike of Prose Bookends. Look at the color swatches for this. I do like that they have like a marbling on it. And then more bookshelves here, same color swatches. And another decor item up here with a nice vase on top of some books and a cute little basket. I like this blue with the gold, it's really cute. And then next we have a picture frame, which this has a lot of swatches to it as well. And in the promo picture, I did see one of the swatches, which I actually really liked. So we'll see if we can find that one. Simlish. So it was like this, but it had another different sim on it. It was the yellow one here. That's the one from the promo picture. More Simlish. These it came out really nice as well. And just see if how they look far away. Okay. And another bookshelf. Same color swatches to match all the different woods. And then here we have a new lamp. This one is called the table orb. <laughs> so we'll check out the swatches for this. I really like this gold, this gold trim on these decor items. And I like how we also get just the standard black and white, but the black one actually has some really nice marbling on the bottom. And we'll check out the 3D-ness of it all. And then we have our 
longer bookshelves. This one comes with a nice little book in as well. So same color swatches in terms of the wood colorings. And then we will also go ahead and do the look at this new wallpaper called the Genre Next Wall. So this comes in like the same types of wood coloring that you'll get for the bookshelves. So you have your lighter wood and then you have black, a darker brown, the light, and the white. So this will match generally all of those bookshelves there. Oops, I did that one. So it's a tendency to match them, which I think is actually really nice. So you don't have any loud colors or patterns going on, especially when you build just a standard library lot. You can have everything kind of flow seamlessly together. So now we'll look at the seats. You have three types of seating arrangements here. You have a two seater and a three seater, and then you have an armchair. So we'll take a look at the swatches for that. And this is your plain white with the peach pillow. I like the pillow coloring there. I really like that one. I'm a sucker for like a soft green <laughs> color. So that's actually really nice. And then we have the three seater. I love how they added this blanket here. Just turn it around. It really falls really nicely. Look at the swatches here. This is so nice. I really like that. I like all of these swatches. They actually came out really good. And then we have the two seater here, which is a wood base with some pillows. And you actually do have some books at the bottom there. And look at the swatches. These have several different swatches. And if you notice, they do also match the wood colors for both the wallpaper and the bookshelves. So you can really just have like a really nice, like seamless one color <laughs> whole situation going on. And then we have one standing lamp. This is actually a really nice lamp. We don't like, lately I've kind of been utilizing a lot of the uh, floor lamps, wall lamps, ceiling lamps for my builds because it does add like a really nice um, lighting ambiance. So I actually really enjoy it rather than just the basic CC lighting. And then over here, we'll move on to this really nice end table. We have two stacks of books in there. Look at the color swatches. These also come in the same type of color tones as the bookshelves. And then we'll take a look at this decor item, which is like a little house for your books with a book on top of it to uh, mimic the roof. Oh, that's cute. So these are the same pictures you would get from uh, this picture frame over here. So you can definitely match it up with what you got over here, kind of like, you know, a poster of your favorite book, essentially. And then we'll move on to this coffee table. Same color swatches, it's the bookcases again. Everything really matches really well in this pack, I have to say. They, they definitely did a good job with that. I know over time we've had some issues with things that we would get in base game um, versus additional packs and they just end up being these weird color swatches that just don't match with anything else. <laughs> so I do like that we get a set where we have some nice bookshelves and everything that hopefully will kind of, you know, go along with the other things that we have in the game. 
So we have uh, just your regular stack of books here. Look at those color swatches. And then we have an open book on a little um, coffee table thing here with a coffee mug and a coaster inside. And check out those swatches. This color swatch, okay, <laughs> threw me off a little bit because it's pink and it's like, so what it's really going along with is the mug color, I'm assuming, but these are still nice regardless. And then we have the same type of uh, basket that we had the plant in, but it's a little bit bigger where it's going to hold um, two books here as well that also utilize the same um, swatches as the picture frame. And then we have one rug that came with this pack. And these are just some really basic, like simple colors. Nice soft colors, which I really like those as well. So those are the, all the items that came with the book nook kit. And I actually really like them. I always tend to decorate my Sim homes with lots of like uh, items that come with neutral um, color styles or color swatches. So this will definitely be a pack that I'm going to be utilizing a lot, especially with just the whole like stackable bookshelves thing you got going on here. You can just like put all of these together. Put this on the table. So if you wanna like, so these will move by itself. I'm wondering how many can you actually stack together to where it will be like, okay. You got those. So you can stack this whole thing together and move it all around. That is a game changer, really. <laughs> so then you can just create your own shape for your bookshelves, for your Sims bookshelves. So that is a quick look into the book note kit. I hope you did enjoy the video. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching.